Welcome back, everyone. It's being called a hidden condition that's destroying the lives of millions of Australians. Migraines have emerged as the most neglected chronic illness in the country. Now, only 1% of sufferers are getting access to appropriate medication, so we brought in Dr Zach Turner to talk more about this. Zach, that's an alarming statistic. So why are we failing to get help for this? I think because it's multifactorial. And that means that there's so many different reasons for getting migraines and people come along and think it's going to be, going to be one or the other, but it's related to anything from travel, sleep, kids, hormones, diet, fear of getting a migraine, anxiety right. about getting a migraine. So there's a whole lot of reasons. And I think we often only try and tackle one at a time and mm. just take a tablet, take a pill, put ourselves to bed without actually trying to fix the real issues behind it. So you keep getting it again. So, Dr Zach, women are three times more likely to get migraines. Why is that? Mostly related to hormones. And so when we're, when we're young, actually, when young boys are more common, more commonly to get migraines when we're young, and it gets more and more common in women until you get kind of to about 40 or 50 and then it lessens off. So we think it's mostly related to hormones. But uh, along with that, I guess it, it's, it's treating the cause before you know it's coming along. So if it is hormonal, you know it's coming up. It kind of is often a monthly thing. Mm. And uh, so write in a diary, keep a diary for it and uh, work out some treatments for you that actually work and help rather than just the simple pill. Trying to in. fix it after oh. the migraine about, set in, yeah. Yeah, well, what about cognitive behavioural therapy? So going to a therapist and working it out, can that work? Well, I think it'll work for a whole lot of things. I've referred patients, but often people don't get referred to a, or think about a psychologist for a long time. And I think in younger years, and, and even as we get older, people become paranoid about getting headaches. And when they get an aura, it makes it worse because they get so anxious. Mm. But a lot of work situations, a lot of social situations give you anxiety, give you stress, build up tension, and these can give you headaches as well, which is why we then go and get massages and stretch out and all those sorts of things. So CBT is really, really important. I don't think enough people uh, think about this as a first-line option, and I think it should be higher up, especially for people that have the social anxiety. And finally, vitamins have also been used to prevent migraines, so which ones are best? There's a range of them. I think one of the things is keep a great diet, but a whole lot of B vitamins, mm -hmm. folic acid, magnesium, um, vitamins that are found in green leafy vegetables, five and two people, you can get them in plenty, plenty of supply. But if you can't get them in there, um, then, then there's some great vitamin out options out there as well. But oh. this could be a great way to have a look at treating it in the future. Good on you, Dr. Zach. Thank you. Thanks so much.